Hi guys, this is Joanna from Input Studio. Welcome to another video. Today I wanted to do a brief video about a plugin that I have recently came come across in uh, Reaper. It's called Reafear. It's a plugin that can do all sorts of things. It can EQ, gate, compressor. There's uh, subtra subtracted this, this feature is very cool. Um, it can literally reduce noise of your tracks and it's very good for that. There's a couple of videos on YouTube uh, on that already. But the feature that I wanted to talk about today is the compression feel, uh, feature. So there's a plugin called Sooth2. It's a very well-known plugin and that's probably why you guys clicked the video. And that plugin basically removes harshness from audio tracks, from vocals, from guitars, from anything but it's mostly used i think widely in vocals uh, some people call it a d harsher plugin or a resonance suppressor but what it basically does is it kind of uses multi-band or a lot of multi-band uh, little compressors um like all together and it just results in a very tamed sound when there's certain resonances to to the sound and so this plugin has got a similar uh, feature, the compression feature. There's this line right here that can work as a threshold. If you hold shift or command, I prefer to hold command to be fair, on Mac, you can literally drag the threshold line up or down. And to show you how this plugin works, I'm going to play a bit of um, this track. These are free multi-tracks that I have downloaded from Produce Like a Pro. They have got their YouTube page. Make sure you check them out. There's a ton, a ton of resources for you guys to practice and to improve in your mixes. And they give you free multi-tracks to use for learning purposes like this today. So I'm going to play a bit of the track to see how this is sounding at the moment with a already balanced, uh, mixed um, and lead vocal as well. You seem so real. Tell me what is it like to dance in the rain under pale moonlight? I'm still it. Okay, pretty cool. So I'm going to mute the vocal that I have mixed and I'm going to insert a vocal without any plugins. And you guys are going to listen to what it is sounding without any processing. Seem so real and tell me what is it like to dance in the rain. Okay, so the most obvious thing that jumps to me at the moment is uh, dynamics. So there's certain uh, parts of the vocal that are quite high compared to the rest, uh, they are a bit all over the place, and in terms of tone. I can see that, or I can hear that the vocal is um, a bit nasal and it's sounding a bit muffled. There's probably too much low mid that is kind of uh, giving that um, boominess to the vocal that's not very nice. So we're just going to have a look here at the spectrum, what that is looking like. Just bear in mind that I'm just showing you the spectrum in this video because um, it's easier to see the plugin in function but actually I am adamant that we shouldn't really be using analyzers to look at the audio tracks because we should be hearing not seeing and eyes can fool us um, if we use the analyzers too often so I'm just gonna play the same vocal and we're gonna look at the analyzer this one time to see if we can identify problematic areas you seem so real Tell me what is it like to dance in the rain under pale Okay, it kind of goes with what we were saying. This area right here, there's too much energy here. I don't know if it was because of the room where it was recorded or really what was happening, but um, it's not sounding very nice. And then there's some harshness, some kind of nasal tone around this area that we're also going to try to tame. So I'm going to play the vocal and this time I'm going to bring this threshold down and when it starts hitting the picks 
of the the, the audio tracks or the um, the audio sorry we're going to see if it's starting to start so starting to sound <laughs> sorry once again uh, nicer so let's hear it you seem so real and tell me what is it like to dance in the rain under pale moonlight okay and now what we're going to do is we're going to bring the compression ratio up a little bit i'm not going to bring it too high up because i have tried it higher up about right here and i do feel like it starts to create a kind of a weird effect kind of it's, it's too obvious the compression is not very nice so we're gonna slightly adjust it as we go you seem so real and tell me what is it like I brought it up, but then I kind of regretted it because I felt like the vocal was starting to sound too thin. Perhaps we've removed too much around this area. But the point is, and what I think you can obviously hear is that as we brought this down instantly, that muddiness started to be tamed a little bit. And it's quite obvious. I'm not too happy with this area right here yet. I think it's still sounding a bit harsh. The other thing we can do is Obviously, if we hold command, we can bring the whole line up and down. But if, we, if we're not holding any key, if we just click on it, it creates another band. And so we could actually bring this down a little bit and see if it's going to help because we're going to literally be compressing at a, at a lower threshold um, in this area right here. It's you seem so real and tell me what is it like to dance in the rain under pain i'm going to play it before and then engage the plugin but you seem so real and tell me what is it like to dance Okay, I think that when we engage it, there's a clear, clear difference. The vocal is sounding cleaner. It's sounding more in context with the mix. I love this actually even more than perhaps I love EQ because we did say that there were quite a few problems with dynamics when we listened without any plugin. And because this is actually compressing, not EQing, it's actually bringing those um, dynamics into control a bit more. So there's those few moments that we had before where the vocal was all over the place, they're not so obvious now. So this is actually also helping with that. So play around with the plugin. Let me know in the comments what you think about this, if this was useful or if you already knew about this amazing uh, feature in Reaper. And also let me know in the comments if there's any other plugins um, especially in Reaper, please, uh, that I could review or that I could have a look at. That would be very, very helpful for me because I'm also very eager to finding uh, new things all the time to, to, to mix with uh, new tools. And so if you have enjoyed this video, just give me the thumbs up and perhaps subscribe to the channel. Um, make some suggestions down below. You can get in touch as well on my Instagram and also on my website. You can find the links in the description of the video. I hope I have helped you and I have taught you something today. And just go around, grab your Reaper version. I'm sorry you can't do this in another DAW unless you have got another alternative in your DAW. But if you're a Reaper user, you are um, in the same team as I am. So just go grab your copy and just try it out for yourself. I am pretty sure you're not going to regret it. Thank you for watching once again, and I'll see you in the next video.